What's up, folks? G Funk Jersey's Rants number 33. Computer's kind of been acting weird, so I'm going to do some emails tomorrow. I'm just going to do a raw review today. Uh, raw start off with Stephanie and Shane coming out announcing there's going to be a brand split starting July 19th. So it'll be Monday Night Raw Live, and then Tuesday night will be SmackDown Live. So and they're going to have a draft, and they're going to break it up. I'm kind of glad they're doing this. There's so much talent. It's better if you do uh, you know, SmackDown Live as well. Uh, you can you know, show more talent. Um, but otherwise, <coughs> You know, they come out and say there's going to be a new brand. New Day comes out, and they have a match against the Vaude Villains. Pretty good match, and then until the end, they're about to... It's a good match, and the Gals and Anderson came out and um, attacked uh, the New Day, so it was no contest. But um, Gals and Anderson, we're here to, you know, make a point, and there's, you know, there's more to come. So I was like, hmm, interesting. Uh, Usos versus Breezango, which is Tyler Breeze and Fandango, which is just kind of stupid. Um, Usos win, thanks to distraction by the uh, Golden Truth, even though they didn't really do anything, but I think... Rizango wants to face them again, so it's probably be a little robber between those two dumb combined Nick tag team names. Um, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, dumbest segment ever. Why? Because um, they didn't do nothing. Roman talked, and that was it. Seth just came out, didn't talk, didn't charge the ring, didn't mix it up, nothing. Boring, stupid, and my friend I think is right. I'm going to give a shout out to my man Breezy. I think he's right. I think we're not going to see Seth Rollins actually wrestle until Money in the Bank. Rusev for Zack Ryder, <laughs> dumb match. Rusev kicked his ass, but Titus O'Neil came out and challenged him after Rusev started, you know, bad mouthing America. And I think Titus O'Neil Rusev would be a great match. Titus O'Neil is a big dude, and I think he'll hold his own with uh, Rusev. Maybe a new U.S. champion down the road. Then we had Enzo and Cash, my boys, against the Dudleys. Good match. Enzo and Cash pulled one out. Good to see Enzo back in the ring. He looks great. Looks like he has lost a step at all. So um, good to see him back in the ring and uh, get a big win over the Dudleys. Um, they're so entertaining. I love those guys. The crowd loves them. They're definitely going to be a very popular tag team for years to come. Um, Cena comes back. Being out for the last five months. Who gives a shit? Did anyone really miss him? I know I didn't. I know maybe little kids did and you know people were really huge Cena fans. But still the same. Rah, rah. I'm the good guy. Boring. <laughs> Cena, just do us a favor, dude. Turn heel. Turn, even if it's just for a little while, dude. Just to, to mix it up. Because you're the, the freaking rah rah goody two shoe shit. Boring. Boring. So he's saying that. He's saying, oh, well, the future's. This, the future has to go through me. And as soon as he says that, who comes out? AJ Styles. First, I thought it was going to be, uh, you know, AJ Styles, you know, and him, the way they were talking. Oh, they're going to team up and be buddies, this and that. And then Gals and Anderson came out. I'm like, oh, interesting. So, and it looks like Cena and Styles are standing by side, you know, side by side. I think they're going to take them on when they came into the ring. And Cena gets, you know, takes his shirt off and turns around. Boom! Styles clocks him. Gals and Anderson come in and start beating the hell out of Cena. Great. I like making Styles a heel. Granted, I love to see him stay face for a little while. Make Cena a heel, of course. But Styles and the club are now uh, official again. Natalia versus Dana Brooke. <laughs> Dana Brooke beat Natalia. Charlotte was in her corner. They started beating the crap out of her after Dana Brooke won. Uh, out of Nat Natalia after the match was over. Becky Lynch came and saved Natalia. Who gives a shit? Um, Ziggler versus Corbin, dumb. Another match was even, it wasn't even a match. Ziggler came out, kicked him in the balls, he got disqualified. Because for what happened at, at uh, Extreme Rules, for the low blow by Corbin did the beat Ziggler. Which was, you know, it was Extreme Rules. There's no rules, it doesn't matter. But I guess Ziggler didn't give a shit. And the six-man tag main event was that, you know, the Money in the Bank opponents, which is uh, Jericho, Owens, and Del Rio versus Ambrose, Sami Zayn, and Cesaro. Cesaro, Zane, and Ambrose picked up the win. Kind of a boring ending. I was waiting to see who the seventh guy is. They haven't announced who the seventh guy is. Um, I was waiting for him to come out, maybe make an impact during the match. Nothing. No seventh guy announced yet. I don't know who's going to be. It's either going to be Randy Orton, I think. Either Randy Orton or Bray Wyatt. Um, I don't see it being anybody else. First of all, it's going to be Cena, but I'm, I'm just glad it's not Cena. But I, I think, think it's going to be either Orton or Bray Wyatt. Who knows? It could be someone completely unexpected, but those are the two guys I think it's going to be. But the Raw was just, it wasn't, the beginning started off okay, but, you know, some of the matches were pretty decent. Just, uh, the, the Reigns-Rollins segment was just completely a waste of time. Dumb. They could have just had, Roman is god-awful in the mic, and let him, you know, at least have saw Rollins have a retort and say something back to him. Rollins didn't even say shit, so, I don't know. I think it was just gay. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm going to do some emails tomorrow, my uh, hopefully, get my computer up and it's okay. it's kind of working now, but I still can't retrieve my emails. So I apologize if anyone sent me an email. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And um, 
Like that's why I sent this the message about Memorial Day yesterday. I was, if you can tell on my face, I had a long weekend. Number one, I was tired, but I was just pissed. My computer wasn't working, so I could do a video yesterday. But you know, it was you know. But um, anyways, everybody, have a good week, have a good day, and uh, follow me, Jerry G Funk Jerry G's rants on Facebook, Twitter Jerry Garvin One, and send the comments, questions, to emails, Jerry G Man Two Seven Six at Yahoo.com. Until next time, I gotta go. I'll see you when I see you.